Hello everyone, in today's video I will show how to make very simple application using the nodes and uh, also ErgoScript compiler only. Alright, uh, let's start. So uh, we have uh, the node running, right, and uh, its balance is about one erg. And uh, what I we going to do is uh, some uh, very uh, simple uh, script, which is about the simplest uh, ring signature and uh, uh, payments to this ring uh, signature is uh, spendable by the node wallet. So for this uh, we have few address in the wallet. Alright, and uh, we are going to make script. Okay, so what we are doing is actually uh, very uh, simple and uh, pretty stupid and insecure kind of obfuscation. So the script would be as following. So it is spendable to the first public key of the wallet. Right, so uh, the second key. All right. And uh, from outside, uh, there is no correspondence can be extracted for these two public keys, right? Uh, because they derived via hardened derivation from uh, root secret. And then uh, this is a ring signature. And uh, this ring signature is uh, actually a true ring signature, not one out of two multi-seq as in Bitcoin. So uh, uh, this ring signature is preserving zero knowledge property. Uh, so uh, from spending an output with uh, this uh, script pretending uh, the output, it's not known uh, which uh, key was used actually. So uh, you can use this as a basis for more sophisticated uh, obfuscation scripts. But yeah, uh, let's start with this uh, simplest example. Uh, so uh, now uh, we need to somehow find payments uh, to the script. Uh, so uh, the node is uh, tracking only uh, simple uh, payments associated with uh, pay to public key uh, script, uh, so just very simple money transfers to public keys. All right, so uh, to find uh, money uh, sent to this script, uh, we need to go to the Swagger API. All right, and uh, then in the first place we need uh, to get uh, bytes corresponding to the uh, pay uh, to script address which we got via uh, web-based ErgoScript playground made by uh, Jason Davis. Alright, so uh, we are getting bytes. Execute. Yeah, so here we have the bytes and now uh, we need to register a custom scan. Right, so uh, let's check what do we have now. Yeah, no any scan register it yet. So we are going to register one. Right, so predicate is about equals, means uh, strict equality, and uh, yeah, value would be about bytes. And uh, you see, uh, register is missed in the tracking rule. 
uh, and in this case according to EEP1 uh, register R1 assumed uh, which is corresponding uh, to the script so guadding a script for an UTXO is stored in this register I will provide uh, some links under the video uh, scan name would be simplest ring seek and also uh, I am going to add a non-default value for the uh, wallet interaction flag and this value would be forced uh, means that uh, uh, all the outputs uh, found by the scan will be also added to the wallet and then yeah the wallet is able to spend uh, the ring seek because the wallet knows uh, a secret well actually both secrets but uh, one is not all right so we are going to register the scan yeah we are getting ID for the new scan right and now it's in the list okay so now time to test so I'm going to send uh, some money to the scripts how much one arc all right so uh, let's check if our payment is there so it's in the mempool we are waiting for it to be included into a block all right and uh, while we are waiting so a uh, quick reminder so please use ergo script playgrounds uh, to compile script into pay to script address you can send money to right when you send money uh, you are creating uh, an unspent output protected uh, by this uh, script basically and uh, yeah still waiting and uh, uh, then use the nodes uh, to create custom scan right and uh, custom scans actually used in many applications uh, uh, so for example uh, stablecoin uh, bank uh, backend is using them uh, via uh, headless d app uh, framework I believe and uh, then also uh, Anon uh, Reels applications are usually using custom scans so Erga auctions uh, using custom scans uh, to find auctions around the blockchain and uh, proxy servers I believe also using custom scans okay so it's quite popular way to find uh, outputs around uh, alternative methods are using uh, JDE uh, so uh, JSON uh, development environment uh, or also Explorer uh, which is how uh, Ergo Mixer backend is working for example all right so yeah now we have two ERC and uh, even more uh, let me show that they're spendable uh, so I'm going to send uh, money to self uh, yeah all 
Uh, not on the mample yet, but will be soon, maybe. Uh, F6. Oh, it's already there. Alright, so transaction in the mempool and will be included in the next block. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, this uh, script is spendable by the wallets, but uh, to find uh, outputs with the script, uh, we are using uh, custom scan. Alright, so uh, you can use it as a very simple and uh, stupid form of obfuscation. And uh, by using custom scans, you can uh, do uh, more complex applications using just Node. Uh, so, uh, if you are using uh, uh, custom scans uh, for more complex applications, uh, so uh, likely uh, you will find the following wallet methods useful. Alright, so in the first place, uh, yes, uh, you can use uh, well, when you know uh, outputs, uh, you can use uh, UTXO by binary method to get uh, serialized outputs. And then uh, you can use, uh, for example, uh, generate or generate unsigned uh, wallet methods uh, to uh, generate a signed or unsigned uh, transaction uh, with uh, custom inputs. And uh, yeah, to to provide custom inputs, you need to provide. Uh, 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 boxes from scans in serialized form. Alright, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention. Bye.